Yeah? So after 10 years, 2005 you started? 2005, yeah. After that, how small does the mixed martial arts community get? Because like right now, I've just seen him at a different place and the next month I'll see him again and again. Yeah. So how small does it get the longer you go? Like you know everybody now. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's continuing to grow obviously, but I think that the, you know, as the sport grows, the level of competition grows. Um, mm -hmm. It just keeps getting bigger and even more, you know, more worldwide too. So it's, it's, you know, it's cool to kind of be a part of that. Though. And after the life you've had, you, your brother got sick, uh, you swam, you played sports, you were a Marine, you're a fighter. What shocks you? Like what surprise, is there anything that gets your adrenaline pumping besides fighting now? Like drag racing or bungee jump? What's next? What, <laughs> what's exciting to you now? You know, I'm kind of, I don't know what, what excites me. Training excites me. Fighting it's, it excites me. Like that's that's why I'm still you know why I'm still fighting. Really, mm -hmm. just uh, I, I love the training. I love, I love the people I'm around. You know, I really enjoy what I do. So you know that's that's key. I think it's really a big key to to succeeding is is enjoying what you do. So you know, there's there's um, a lot of things you gotta kind of deal with and, and uh, continue to deal with. You know, like making weight just in, in the, the issues with training, but. Um, yeah, man, I, I love my life though. It's uh, fighting is so much fun. It's you know, it's it really is a kind of a free sport. You can you can you, know, you can do what you want, and, and you can legally go in there and, and uh, do whatever you want, and uh, pretty you know, pretty close to whatever you want. But it is. It's always exciting. It's been a little while since we've seen you in. It's two times a year, kind of what you shoot for now at this point in your career. No, you know, I, you know, I would like to do more often though. Probably three to four, but. Uh, you know, I, my my son was born about six months, six seven months ago. So um, that's been you know that's been a a fun a fun process. But uh, you know, just really you know spending time with him, enjoying. It. And I think the first six months too, or I would say at least uh, at least as far as like sleeping, you know, it might be a little bit more difficult. But uh, it, it's a lot of fun. Though. He's brought a lot of enjoyment to my life. Um, you know, it's kind of and it's almost an escape too, away from you know, the everyday, you know, stresses and stuff. You get to go home and just be a kid with your kid, you know. So, uh, but for me, yeah, I feel like I've I made a few changes in training and then some things that have really kind of helped me, um, really kind of play off my strengths and then some of the things that I haven't really been focused on in the past. But um, it, it's definitely you know propelled me to keep keep moving forward and and, uh, and learn from everything I've all the mistakes I've made in the past. But you you recently changed camp. Uh, you change your team. Uh, is, there, is there any reason for that? Well, you know, I, I haven't really. I've kind of I'm working with the same people. You know, um, sparring's been all all my sparring and, and work has been done at Kings in Huntington Beach. So, you know, guys, you got guys I've trained with for years. So, um, you know, I wouldn't say I made big changes. I think uh, specifically like strategy and, and just, you know, for me, I know where I need to be to. To expect my optimal outcome, and the best place for me to be, you know, is is is, is at Kings is, as far as sparring. You know, the you know the, the the champs there, the people, the people that that help each other out, and it's really a, a very very well rounded, well rounded gym. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, one more thing is, uh, is this is the third time that this fight is scheduled. The first time, uh, I think you uh, you injured, then mm -hmm. Tarek injured, mm -hmm. the second, and now it's the third. The third one is a charm. <laughs> well, so. Right. I suppose you're not the same fighter uh, when it was first scheduled. So what changed uh, mm -hmm. in the last two years? Yeah, it, it definitely. We, we have been scheduled twice before this, and uh, I, I think we both probably changed quite a bit. But um, you know, it, it, he's been out for a while. I know that, and, and uh, you know, for me, it's been it's been good. It's a lot of a lot of positive changes. Some small things like I've small small things I've done in training, and just I've been able to focus on things that I haven't been able to do in the past. So. And really, just getting faster. You know, I work, I've worked a lot uh, extensively with with Nick Kirsten at, at the speed of sport, and just uh, for me, getting quicker, being more, um, becoming more of a pressure fighter, and, and really being in the shape to do so. Too, that, that's been a, a big change for me because you know, like I said, I know where I'm good. I know where I can play off my own strengths, and um, you know, that that's the way I can, I'm going to continue to fight. So it's uh, the the change has been good. You know, I think I think, but I think we're both a lot different than the first time we were scheduled. And uh, also, uh, you change camp, but he did too. Mm -hmm. But the, the weird thing, not weird, but the different thing is that he, he trains now at uh, twice now, mm -hmm. and which was the last camp that beat him, basically. Mm -hmm. What do you think of this kind of attitude? No, I think, I think, you know, I think the guys from Tristar, they're obviously very smart, had a lot of success. Um, 
you know, Frost is a, a smart trainer as well, and, and, and obviously I've, having faced uh, you know Rory in the past, I, I kind of, you know, I'm familiar with him. But um, yeah, he, you know, like him, he's got to do what's, what best suits him. And, and for me, it's, um, you know, I, like I said, I know where I do well and, and uh, where I don't do well. So for me, it's just being able to use my strengths and then build, build momentum moving forward. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, one last thing is, uh, how, how do you see Tarek? I'm from Belgium, he's from Belgium. Mm -hmm. MMA is not very popular there. Mm -hmm. the, so how do you see that guy? As far as a fighter? Uh, as, as a man, as a fighter. Oh, yeah, I, I mean, he's a nice guy. We've, we've spent some time around each yeah, other, you know. Um, you know, nice guy. Obviously, I expect him to be very well prepared. You know, he wouldn't be. Um, he's had to deal with some injuries, you know, outside of the, of, of the competition. but. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna expect him to be 100%. And, and uh, you know, he, he's a, he's a smart fighter. He's an intelligent fighter. And uh, you know, I've been, I've been made aware of the things that he does well. And so for me, uh, you know, to, to to stick with where where I do well and what I what I'm best at, you know, um, is like I said, it's gonna be pressure and moving forward. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. What can you take away from a fight against Stephen Thompson? I mean, he's a very unique fighter. Mm -hmm. The way that it ended. What did you learn the most from that? Well, he, he's a very he's a he's a very tough guy to fight. Um, I think that you know that for for me, like I said, I, knowing you know knowing where I do well, knowing where I don't do well, um, it really just made a mistake. You know, I made a mistake, and and, uh, and unfortunately in this sport, you know, a mistake can cost you the fight. So um, now that I think you know he's he's continuing to to get better and evolve. You know, obviously the when I, when I fought him. Um, was much different than the, the guy that I saw him last time he fought. So you know, it just shows that he keeps keeps evolving, and uh, you know, he, he definitely had a better night. So, but yeah, for me, that's what this sport's about: is just resilience, getting you know, dealing with adversity. Um, so for me, even you know, having making small changes, like I said, uh, I have to be, uh, I have to be, you know, in, in the way I need to fight, I have to be in the shape to fight that way. So that's really what I focused on for this this fight specifically. Um, you know, and, and somewhat similar styles, kickboxers, but. Uh, you know, Steve, Steve is a little bit more more tricky, I would say. But uh, like I said, training at TriStar, um, I'm sure they're they're very familiar uh, with me. So it's 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 just me, you know, me playing my best hand and and uh, um, you know fighting where I'm best at. So, what things training wise, when you started out a long time in 2005, did you look at now and go, well, that was pretty stupid? <laughs> what did like what stepping? If someone, if he was to start fighting now, uh -huh. would you say like just don't do that? Do this. Trust yeah. me. You'll figure this out. Do this. It's it's probably like a like a bad financial advisor. You know, you, they've made all these mistakes and they're like, well, this is what I don't want you to do or where to invest. And I and the biggest thing is just um, investing time. You know, if you if you invest time in the wrong thing or what you think is the right way, um, you know, in, in this sport is so much about being uh, unpredictability. Who you know who's more unpredictable? The um, and I even in the the evolution of the sport, I, I see. Guys have gotten so much faster. You know, the level of competition keeps getting better. You know, there's not the biggest hole. There used to be a lot of holes, especially in 2005 when I started. There was guys that were good at one thing, maybe two, mm -hmm. and there was huge holes in their game. You could really take advantage of that. And, and, and today, it's just not the case. Everybody is is pretty good. You know, if not if not great everywhere. So um, that's when strategy plays a huge role. So um, yeah, I mean, you know, obviously the the trial and error period. You, you don't want to. You don't want to waste time. I said like wasting time as far as spending time on things that aren't going to benefit you the most. So I think it really it's just really finding about about yourself. You know where, where you're where you're best at, where you um, where you're the strongest at, and kind of build off of that. Now, now that you're a father and you, the way your body feels after this sport mm -hmm. and the ups of it and downs of it, would you just say eh, you're gonna you're gonna go to get a pilot's license? None <laughs> of that, or are you okay? If this is what you want to do, I'm I'm with you. You know, I mean I. <laughs> It's it's tough to say, you know. Okay. He's he's real young, but I mean, um, I'll definitely support whatever he wants to do. But I, I would probably not, probably not push him in the fighting direction. But he, he'll be an athlete for sure. He'll play sports. You know, he'll know how to fight absolutely. But I don't know about uh, pursuing an MMA career. I don't know about that. And last two would be, since is it getting easier to cut weight or harder? Because I'm getting older and I'm not losing <laughs> weight the way I used to. So yeah. I could sneeze and drop it, and I can't. So is it getting harder, or do you have it down to a science now? And how is your body after 10 years of this versus your friend who never fought? How's, you know, a regular right. guy has a back problem now. And yeah. You know, <laughs> I, the, the human body is amazing, though. I think that, you know, for me, 
you know, I've, I've dealt with some injuries for sure, my fair share of injuries, and it's just uh, getting smarter the way you train, you know, being more intelligent. Um, so, you know, I, I, I know, like I said, we've we've learned, I, I've learned uh, where to really focus my time and, and uh, not make the same mistake twice. But um, yeah, no, as far as my, you know, my body, I feel I feel great. You know, I feel like if, if I couldn't compete with the best guys in the world, you know, that I that I'm sure I shouldn't be doing it. But you know, I, even specifically for this one, you know, we. Uh, I feel better going to this fight than I have in, in any fight in my career. So, um, you know, it makes me excited for for Saturday. I'm, I'm ready to, you know, I can I, wherever this fight goes. You know, it's it's uh, yeah, you know, I'm just I'm, I'm super excited to, to show. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Yeah, so Thank you. Go, Paul. What's your son's name? Sorry. What's your son's name? Uh, Jameson. Jameson.